Hello wrestling fans, in this video we're going to be ranking every single model of Brock Lesnar in WWE games. Each model of Brock will be ranked into one of five tiers, those being Beastie Boy, which is great, Good, Indifferent, Bad and Brock Blocked, which means it's awful. Before we get started, please note our ranking system will mainly focus on the head and face of each model, as those are the most important parts, but we'll also take into consideration the body and the attire for accuracy and attention to detail. We are going to go through each model in the order of the game's release, so we'll start with SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. Brock's first appearance in a WWE game, and it's an impressive one. My first impressions is the face looks very accurate, he has a good head shape and he has expression in his eyes which I'm surprised about. Just watch, he'll tend to look around a little bit and doesn't suffer from dead eyes which we've seen in other models. Another positive is his hair, unlike what we'll see later on. The texture, tone and style all capture what Brock looked like at the time. This goes the same for the body definition, he truly is the next big thing. A few important notes about the body is the shoulder traps look great, the body is in proportion for how Lesnar looked at the time and the tattoos are not too dark or too light, in all honesty, everything looks spot on. As far as models go, I can't really fault it, and it goes the same for the attire, it has all the same positives I've just mentioned, so with that in mind, it's going to be a beastie boy to kick things off. On to 2003's WrestleMania 19 and, oh, I can say first and foremost, Brock is looking pretty jacked, maybe a bit too much. Those shoulder traps are extremely high and I'm not convinced on the face either, it doesn't look like Brock. A strange observation is that he does have quite a big head, although the facial features don't meet the size of the head's requirements so like the eyes and the nose and the mouth all seem a bit small. I'd probably say I made this observation because everything else is oversized and the style of the game is supposed to be accurate. This isn't a 2K Battlegrounds or anything like that where the idea of the model is supposed to be a caricature. This is not. So we've kind of gone from one extreme to the other with Smackdown Shut Your Mouth being a beastie boy and unfortunately for WrestleMania 19, this is a Brock Blocked. WWE Raw 2. Now there's surprisingly some good aspects about this model. For starters, I really like the face. It does look like Brock, and I think they got the features and the head shape spot on. With that in mind, it's a shame to say that the body lets this model down. The arms are too small, and he has very little hands. In fact, tiny hands. The model also has a granite six pack, which I'm sure Brock has in real life, but this just doesn't look good, it looks rather fake. If my ranking was purely based on the face, I might have put this one in good, but because the body is so off, I'm going to have to put this one in indifferent. On to Smackdown Here Comes The Pain, and what's interesting here is we can make the comparison to Smackdown Shut Your Mouth, which we ranked in Beastie Boy. A very visible change is the body. He looks much thicker in this model, his chest, looks a little bit inflated, almost like he's been visiting the same cosmetic surgeon as Sable. Anyway, the body definition just is not quite right, I can only describe it as chunky. I think the head and face shape is good, but not quite as good as Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. Another note is the attire, we didn't mention them in the last two models, but when it comes to the Smackdown series, the attires are always on point. Now I know I've been very critical about the body with this one, but don't get it wrong, he does look like Brock. It's interesting to note as well that in Raw 2, he kind of looked like a cruiserweight, but in Here Comes the Pain, he is definitely a heavyweight. Now this isn't as good as Smackdown Shut Your Mouth, but it is good nonetheless, so I'm going to rank this one as good. Moving eight years forward, we move on to WWE 12. With Lesnar being out of the games for eight years, he made his return in WWE 12 and he looks very eager to get things going because in all honesty, he looks very sweaty. In my opinion, the model is very oversaturated, everything is dark and a bit too glossy. A constant overshadow burdens this model, it's most notable around the eyes and it makes the tattoos look way too dark, although this is the first opportunity to see Brock Lesnar's chest tattoo 
and it does look accurate. It's important to note this because in future models, it does not. Another negative to add to the oversaturation, the poor texture, the glossy look, everything that I've just mentioned is that his head looks very small. It maybe doesn't even fit the body. Maybe that's because the traps are too big, but I think his head just looks all wrong. The body itself doesn't look that good either. I don't know what it is, but I don't really like it. And the face, I will give it one positive. It does hold a resemblance to Brock, but not enough to save this model entirely. So overall, I'm going to rank this model as bad. Up next, we have WWE 13 and a massive change from WWE 12, particularly the saturation. It has all been toned down, which straight away improves the model. The tattoo, much like WWE 12, is accurate, but because of the reduction of that saturation, it complements the skin much better. But a note on the skin is he does look a bit grey for Brock Lesnar, but that's really my only criticism. Brock's body shape looks good, it looks exactly like how it was when he returned, his head sculpture is much better and more defined, and his hair looks great and his textures are realistic. The attire is a bit bare bones, I will say that. The reason for this though is because he had sponsors, which WWE couldn't get the licenses to. If we're being ultra critical, we could say that 2K could have looked for alternatives to replace those sponsors, but that doesn't detriment the model. This model is good. On to WWE 2K14 and this is where THQ tag out and 2K tag in. Well kind of. For this game we have two models of Brock, the first being a current model which is no different to WWE 13 and the second being a younger model which represents the next big thing. A positive here is that with the next big thing model they have re-sculptured Lesnar's face to make him look like his younger self. In some recent games, visual concepts tend to take the wrestler's current face scan and reuse it, and it doesn't look as good. I'd say with the next big thing model, they've done a solid job. But one thing I did note, which was a bit strange, is why does Brock have this stubbled goatee? He didn't have that in real life. With looking back at the next big thing model from WrestleMania 20, and the current model which hasn't had any changes from the WWE 13 one, I'm going to rank this one the same, as good. WWE 2K15 and only one image springs to mind when I look at this model and that is King Shark. And? Do you see it? I mean it's the body, the shape, it just reminds me of King Shark. The 2K15 model of the beast has a square head and an inflatable body a bit like a bouncy castle. If we look at Lesnar's hair, instead of having some nice layers and some texture to it, we now have this plonked on overly blonde hairpiece, and this goes on for a few of the games. On the other hand, you could say it does look like Lesnar, but not how it should. I just don't think the model is very good, but that's my opinion. And with it being my opinion, I'm going to put this one in bad. WWE 2K16 and you can still see a little bit of the King Shark in this model. More of the issues that were in 2K15 remain in 2K16. A couple of things I didn't mention was he looks very smooth in both versions of the game and his eyes are very squinty. He has a constant frown and I think that's part of the problem with the face because I said it does look like Lesnar but not how it should. The smoothness is what contributes me to referring to him as King Shark. The beast's hair doesn't look improved and just keep an eye on that tattoo at the moment, it's okay, but keep watching, something's starting to happen. And as for the attire, that is probably the only positive or the major improvement that I can see, is that we have got an updated attire and 2K have managed to put the Beast logo on it. It's safe to say there is not enough improvement here to really impact the ranking, so this one is going to stay the same as 2K15 and I'm going to throw it in bad. On to WWE 2K17 and King Shark has gone away and they have done some much needed work to Brock Lesnar. The face has changed a bit and it does look better. The features are more defined. They've made Lesnar look more lean and his body is more shaped which takes away that inflated look and I would say he looks a little bit less smooth. But here comes the pain. 
Just look at the tattoo. The tattoo which is supposed to be a sword, now looks like a spatula. Yes, this is Brock's burger flipping tattoo, because it folds in in the middle. This was gradually happening in the last few games, but it becomes more clear now they've adjusted the body type to make Lesnar more defined. It's damaged the tattoo, and it needed to be fixed, but they left it as is. As for the attire, I did say it would be nice if they could compensate for the lack of sponsored logos, but this isn't what I meant. It could do without the 2K logo. Overall, you could say there has been some improvements, like the body type, but is there enough to make it good? I don't think so. I also don't think it's bad enough to be bad. So that's why I'm going to shift this one into indifferent. WWE 2K18, and I do think Brock Lesnar looks better here. The body shape is more accurate, and the hair has been changed. It's not quite as accurate as it should be, but it is better from the previous model. The main issue with the hair is it still looks like a piece. It needs a bit more texture, and it needs to be faded more. This is something that the 2K games have lacked. Lesnar also still has the spatula on his chest, so you better get used to flipping burgers. In all seriousness, I'm inclined to say that the tattoo actually looks worse, but when it comes to the model overall, I do think it looks much better, and there has been some big improvements. I kind of like it, but it's not enough to be ranked in good when we look at the models we already have there. So this one, I'm going to chuck in indifferent. Up next, we have WWE 2K19, and not a huge amount of changes, barely any changes. He tends to look a little less glossy. That's about it. I do quite like it. It's okay, a bit like the last model. So to be consistent, I think it will remain in indifferent. WWE 2K20 and meet grumpy Brock Lesnar. The face appears to have taken a step backwards. I'm not sure what they've done here, but something's gone wrong. As for the body, it does look a bit better. It's more toned, more defined, but I'm not entirely sure it's Lesnar accurate. What do you think? Looking at the tattoos, they still have their shaping problems, and the body seems to be more dried out, which only makes the tattoos look worse. Going back to the head and the face, which is my major issue because I said something just didn't look right, I think the problem is that that face reminds me of the 2K15 model. It's more squinty, and he does look grumpy, he looks angry as such, maybe because the 2K15 model is trying to creep out. <laughs> I can't honestly say this is a better model than 2K19 or 2K18, both of which we ranked in indifferent, so this one, for 2K20, is going in bad. Maybe the Sim franchise can redeem itself with Brock in WWE 2K22, but we'll have to wait till March to find out. So on to WWE 2K Battlegrounds and a very different look for the Beast, as this is based on a caricature of Brock Lesnar. This game of course has a style, and I think for what it is, they've done a good job. The face looks like Lesnar, the hair is good, it fades, unlike what we've seen in the 2K Sim series, and the body type is pretty good as well. Of course the tattoos are pretty much in your face, but it sticks with that caricature look. So I think this is a good model of Brock Lesnar, and that's why I'm going to rank it in good. Now normally at this stage, we'd be ready to wrap things up, but let me hit you with an F5, as I thought we'd suplex in one special bonus and rank a UFC 4 model of Brock Lesnar, just to see the comparison between the 2K models. Here is the beast in UFC 4, and I will say that the face is much more accurate, a lot of detail here, and plenty of markings and blemishes on the face, which is true to Brock Lesnar. I will also say that the hair is far superior with this model to the 2K ones. He actually has a faded haircut, which is what he had at the time, and not a mohawk. Another positive to the hair is it doesn't look like it's plonked on. It really does look very natural. If we move to the body, the tattoos are all correct, and there's no shaping issues at all. But the body itself looks very generic. It doesn't look like a Brock Lesnar body, and it's not in proportion. I of course have my issues with the 2K bodies as well, but I do think they are better than what we have here. So to rank our special bonus UFC model, if we lived in perfect harmony and the two publishers came together and we had the face of EA Sports and the body of 2K, this one might be going in Beastie Boy, 
but because we're not and there are issues with the body but the face is very good this one's going in good so there you have it every wwe games model of brock lesnar ranked and one special bonus from the ufc in total we had 15 models only one making beastie boy and one getting brock blocked the rest was pretty evenly spread across good bad and indifferent but what do you think did we get it right and how would you rank these models of brock and who would you like us to see ranked next make sure you leave us a comment why not drop a like on this video and until the next one thanks for watching